I find the concept of original sin strange. The idea that the first two humans on earth were created as adults from dirt and a rib and then were ordered not to eat from a particular tree, which with a little persuasion they soon did, is an interesting story, but I find it odd that some adults believe it actually happened, just like the Bible describes. The idea that gaining the knowledge of good and evil is a bad thing just doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. I would have thought that any knowledge is better than ignorance. The notion that every human since then is born guilty is yet more nonsense as far as I'm concerned. How can a baby be guilty of something they had no influence over? I don't feel guilty about something which I seriously doubt happened anyway. While thinking about these things, I wonder if the original idea has been lost in translation, not necessarily from the Greek and Hebrew text to English, but from earlier versions of the story from which the Genesis myth is almost certainly derived. What if the original story went something like this? Our ancestors used to live in a really nice patch of forest, where there were some trees with really tasty fruit, but they ate all of it. They didn't let any of the fruit go uneaten, so no new trees of that type were able to grow. Now that fruit is a distant memory, so we are suffering the consequences of the actions of selfish people. Let this be a lesson that if someone tells you to eat all of a particular kind of fruit, to spare a thought for future generations so that they may also be able to enjoy it. This is complete speculation, of course. It may well be that the story and the concept of original sin found in the Bible is exactly as the original author intended. However, it makes more sense to me that consequences are inherited by subsequent generations, but not the sin or the guilt. It is up to us to help rectify the carnage left to us by those who went before us, and it will be up to our children and future descendants to deal with whatever mess we leave for them. Since today is Easter Sunday 2011, it seems appropriate to mention the alleged remedy to the affliction of original sin. Believing that the other story, further on in the same book, you know, the one about someone called Jesus of Nazareth, who was supposedly the son of God himself, who was nailed to a wooden cross and died before rising from the dead, absolves us of the sin, some of which we inherited from the first two humans, and some of which resulted from our misdeeds, all strikes me as more nonsense. The concept of vicarious redemption or scapegoating seems childishly silly. I want to be held responsible for my actions in life, and trying to pass the buck to Jesus seems selfish and shallow. If I make mistakes, it's not his fault, it's mine. As long as I can recognize where I've gone wrong, I can learn and avoid the same mistakes in the future. It all boils down to recognizing who is responsible for what has happened and responding appropriately. There endeth the sermon.